Ladies and gentlemen, yo, what's up, guys? It is Alex, and today I have some awesome news. The E3 Expo for the Xbox One just got finished, and there's some new exciting news. A ton of new games have been released. It was actually a very good Expo, uh, but on top of that, there's a new Xbox One coming out, and I'm not talking about the Slim. The Slim is is the Xbox One just slimmed down? It's the same console. This new console I'm talking about has all new internal processing power to truly output 4K, and they're focusing on virtual reality, like VR, uh, virtual reality headsets that you wear. So we're gonna cut the bullshit and go right into the video, and I'm gonna let Phil Spencer and his team tell you about it because they'll do it better than me, okay? Okay, that's their expertise. Let's get into it. When we think about the future of Xbox, we think about removing barriers. For me and for the fans and for the developers, Xbox has always meant innovation and the latest technology and delivering the world's most powerful console is something we absolutely want to do. Except with the console you delivered to us a couple of years ago, that was the least powerful console I've ever seen. Thanks. This is the console that developers asked us to build. They wanted a console that had no boundaries had no limitations. And that technology component to us is what we really need to make our vision and our art come alive. When I saw the specs of this thing, I'm like, wow. I got true to like, they're really going for it. They're not holding anything back. So we gave the SOC six teraflops of computing capability to be able to handle six. 4K resolutions. Gamers are gonna get the most powerful graphics processor that's been put into a game console today. It's going to make developers happy. It's going to make gamers happy because they're going to get a very powerful GPU out of it. The highest res, the best frame rate, no compromises. You get 4K gaming, true 4K resolution. I can't wait to see what developers actually do with all that horsepower in the box. We can render at 60 hertz. We can render fully uncompressed pixels. These are the highest quality pixels that anybody is seeing. And what we're able to do now is bring that to the console player. My job as a game maker is about immersion. It's about to put you into an experience and let you live that experience. The richer and more accurate those visuals are, the more immersive it is. And if we can get a lot more performance, and I mean, I mean a lot more like with this, we get to much greater and better game experiences as a result. We're moving Fallout 4 to VR and to have a console that can support that at the resolution and speed that we really want I think it's going to be magical. This console is 100% for you guys. We read the articles, we read the reviews. It's the We Heard You console. So that doesn't mean that we are leaving the original Xbox. So I'm just going to cut in. This, this video doesn't really tell you much more, but it's the We Heard You console. It's exactly what I'm saying is that first console they did, they were doing the opposite of that. They weren't even listening to us in any kind of respective, uh, but now they finally realized their, their error especially after the sales numbers came out. And so it truly is the We Heard You console. I, I have to agree with her. But this guy just goes on to describe how they're not leaving the Xbox Ones we own behind, but they're adding this new addition. All the games, all the accessories, controllers, accessories, headsets, everything's going to be compatible with this new Xbox that they're putting out. So nothing's actually not going to be compatible. The only difference is the internal components and probably the look, though they have not released what it actually looks like yet. Xbox One behind. Every single thing that we've done for Xbox One will continue to work. We add to the capabilities of the Xbox One and the Xbox One family without forcing gamers to abandon all the games in the community that they love so much. These two systems are uh, part of the same family. The games will work on both. The accessories work on both. But the box we're building is incredible. It's going to have eight CPU cores, over 320 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth, Six teraflops of GPU power. It's a monster. It's a monster. They couldn't be more right. Anyway, I hope that was informative. Just recorded E3 for you guys. Put a little effort into this. You know, I sat here all day watching this shit for you guys. Leave a like if you like it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to, uh... 
I'd love to see some feedback on this. Are you guys excited for the new Xbox or do you think this is going to be divisive and split up the Xbox community and make it more challenging to do cross-platform stuff? I think developers are going to have a hard time with this personally because, I mean, I look at it. Now you have to develop for not one console. Uh, you have to develop for two. So every time they're making a game for the Xbox, they're going to have to make sure it's compatible with the Xbox original and, of course, this new Xbox 4K console. And that's going to be challenging for developers. I could see that being an issue. So it's going to be interesting to see how they handle this. Hope you guys enjoy this video.